एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम नेहा सुल्ताना नारायण पेट योर गाइड फॉर ऑल थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू केस इट सो इफ यू आर द वन हु इज वेटिंग फॉर अ 2024 केस इट एग्जाम सो टुडेस वीडियो इज अ मस्ट वॉच सो मेनी एस्पिरेंट्स आर ऑफन कंफ्यूज्ड अबाउट द के कट ऑफ परसेंटेज फॉर डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज स्पेशली एस सी एस टी पी एच ओ बी सी पी डब्ल्यू डी और जनरल कैटेगरी सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन द कैटेगरी वाइज कट ऑफ सो हाउ दे आर कैलकुलेटेड एंड वॉट दे मीन इन टर्म्स ऑफ मार्क्स आई एल ऑल्सो गिव यू टिप्स ऑन हाउ टू एम बी ऑन द कट ऑफ टू सिक्योर योर सेलेक्शन बट बिफोर वी गेट स्टार्टेड इफ यू आर न्यू हियर डोंट फॉर्गेट टू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन प्लीज एंड क्लिक द बेल आइकन सो यू नेवर मिस एन अपडेट uh and if you have any queries regarding this video or regarding the cut off then please let me know in the comment section so let's dive in okay what are ka set cut off percentages right uh, so first uh, let's understand what cut off percentages are so simply put the cut off percentage is the minimum percentage of marks required to qualify the exam so these percentages uh, differ by category ensuring equal opportunity for everyone so uh, uh, uh uh if you belong to general category you must secure 40% right uh or uh, beyond that uh even though you are uh, uh, so, so here what my point of view regarding this video is uh, so th this is going to be highlight of the video you all must understand what i'm uh, now telling uh even though you are getting uh, acquiring uh, फोर्टी परसेंटेज और थर्टी फाइव परसेंटेज बट स्टिल इट डिपेंड्स ऑन कट ऑफ राइट नंबर ऑफ कैंडिडेट्स हु अपियर्ड इन बोथ द एग्जाम्स सो रिगार्डिंग दैट हु स्कोर्ड द हाइएस्ट सो ऑन दैट बेसिस कट ऑफ लिस्ट कम्स आउट right so on the even though you are getting 40% 35% it does not mean that you are uh, qualifying the kset exam your marks your result of kset depends on cut off right i hope you all clear on this topic okay now uh, that we know the percentages uh, uh, let's calculate the qualifying marks based on this cut offs assuming the total marks are 300 okay uh, so we are not assuming it is uh, we know it is uh, 300 sorry for that uh, so for like uh, scst category uh, to a like all all the 35% percent, uh, Uh, category i'm talking about uh, so here um, cut off percentage is 35 so let's calculate how ma how many marks are required so marks required equal to percentage divided by 100 into total marks okay i hope you all are uh, getting what i'm uh, what i'm explaining here so candidates belonging to uh, 35 percentage ki category like kaise is i'm not going to repeat all those category again and again uh, so categories so these uh, 35 percentage ki category student uh, need one or five marks uh, to obtain 35 percentage okay this means uh, if you are from the uh, scst to a like all etc your target should be at least one or five marks but remember this is just the minimum a higher score increase your chance of success okay uh so here uh, i hope you all are clear on this uh so finally for general category candidates the cut off percentage is 40% so let's calculate okay uh, so this means candidates in the general category need to score 120 marks out of 300 to qualify okay uh, so i'm going to provide you a 
chat here. Uh, so, uh, so it's a comparison chat. I know SAS to OBCR comes under uh, 35%. Uh, so they have to, you know, uh, take, uh, they have to uh, uh, obtain uh, one out five marks uh, if they want to get 35%. Then uh, if uh, general category students uh, need to get 40%, right? So they have to score 120 marks. Even though you are getting these marks, but still your uh, results is based on, you know, that cutoff list. So, uh, as you uh, here is a quick comparison of the qualifying marks uh, required for each category. As you can see, candidates from uh, that uh, SCST, OBC, 2A, 3B, PWD, transgender categories uh, need 1 out of 5 marks, while general category candidates need 120 marks. Uh, so, now let's discuss why are cutoffs different. You might wonder, why are these cutoffs dif different? Well, this is part of India's reservation policy, right? This is, this is what India's reservation policy. Ensure fair representation of candidates from diverse socioeconomic backgrounds. So, it creates a level playing field for everyone. But keep in mind that qualifying with the minimum cutoff doesn't guarantee success. So you guys, please keep in your mind and even asking me in the comment section, I'm clearing this thing here only. So uh, I hope you all are getting, okay, qualifying with minimum cutoff doesn't guarantee success. For example, if many candidates from your category score higher, okay, like uh, I'm talking about uh, 2APH or uh, SCST. Uh, they also uh, has to obtain a uh, one out five marks for uh, thirty five percentage, right? But they are scoring like uh, uh, two hundred marks, one eighty marks, uh, two eighteen marks, two thirty marks out of three hundred. So those kind of students will easily, uh, you know, uh, 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 get their uh, results, quali qualifying results, uh, right? Uh, so, uh, many candidates from your category score higher, then only the top scorers will be selected. So, always aim beyond the cutoff. Um, yeah. Uh, let me share some tips to help you score well about the cutoff. So, focus on previous uh, papers. Analyze past year's uh, case set papers to understand the question pattern and difficulty level. Okay. Make sure you are clear on the basics, especially in your chosen subject. And practice mock test regularly to improve uh, speed and uh, accuracy. And uh, don't forget to revise regularly and especially closer to the exam date. So remember the cutoff is just a benchmark. Your ultimate goal should be to perform your best. I hope this video helped you understand the category wise cutoff percentage and how to calculate the qualifying marks for KSET 2024. Remember, success in KSET is not just about clearing the cutoff. It's about consistent effort and determination. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Your support keeps me motivated to create more useful content for all of you. Also, hit the bell icon so you are notified every time I post a new video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I would love to help. Until next time, keep learning, stay positive and best of luck for your case journey and your uh, results. See you soon.